All right, so this is the review of Rings of Power. Season, Rings of Power Season 2, Episode 1 through 3. So, um, I died re act, uh, watching these episodes, so you are enduring my suffering, so... So, we start on episode one that the entire first five minutes is an entire flashback of how Sauron basically is created, which becomes basically him becoming Venom or a bunch of goo. I mean, he's Dark Lord, they, and the orcs not wanting to follow him, and then he dies, and it doesn't make sense, and then he goes into a Wagon and becomes Halbrand, which later we do that. Um, yeah, okay, so. Oh, then, then it all flashes back to when in season one he meets the Ladriel, which. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Then, then we pan to Elrond and trying to just take the rings away from Gladriel. Gladriel tries to t take it back. And then the king, there's a discussion with the king where basically um, a question of what, of was Halbrand actually Sauron and, the and she admitted it was and that he was tricked. She was tricked. And obviously the king still wants the rings. So um, and then H Elrond Jumps into the ocean. Um, yeah, and, and over a waterfall. And now we have Mordor, Halbrand. Mordor is now the reason it, it, why in the first season, but now we have, um, second season is now controlled by an orc and land. So, then, yeah, he's in, he appoints she's in mortar, put in jail, basically because he's not wanting. Because the rule is submit or you die in mortar now, which used to be another place, but you know whatever. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, now Elrond gives it to an, hit another elf. Um, to send it out of Middle Earth. Yeah. And now the elf, the king, um, now wants Galadriel to buy the rings and is reluctantly siding with Galadriel on this one. Uh, now we go to the hearth foot again, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, which is just Gadolf, which I'm going to call him Gadolf since he's not actually Gandalf. But they want him to be Gandalf, so he's Gadolf in this. So I'm calling him Gadolf. So. The uh, elf. Yeah, the elf comes back with the rings, gives them, and then suddenly the tree magically, for some reason, for some whatever bullcrap reason, the tree magically manages to, you know, to somehow heal because it's brings a power and they don't think these things throw. Okay, moving on. Um, yeah, suddenly comes back and the leaves all come back and it's, it's now saved, guys. All it needed was the rings of power, which, mind you, they say the rings of power almost like every five to ten minutes in this show. Yeah, with we'll the rings on. Yeah, hum Yeah, Halbrand comes back. I mean, I think this is the this is the teaser for I think this part that was actually the teaser for episode two, which did not look any more en enticing. So. Yeah, it comes back. Sometimes I forgot, but yeah. Yo, the king tells someone to send telling Halbrand is on. Yeah. Halbrand yeah, and then the rest 
Yeah. Um, Gadolf also doing his match with his freaking staff. Okay. Okay. Mm, did I miss anything? Actually, let me check. Okay. Mm, dwarves digging, yeah. And the, yeah, teaser for him coming out of the fire. Yeah, and then and Harfoot's in the wild, and they catch the other one. This attempted Samwise. Ah, okay. That was episode two, one. Hope you hope you're enjoying my suffering. Guys, I hope it gives you. I go. I hope it gives you happiness that I'm suffering for you, people, to review this show. Okay, okay. Moving on to episode two. Yeah. Um. Disa and Durin the Fourth have were disowned, so now they're living just in a people. So now we have, and then earthquake suddenly happens. And Galadriel has a vision of darkness, which honestly she deserves since she's freaking evil. Yeah, you know, like she is. Yeah, the king and Galadriel have a discussion on finding the rings for yeah. Calbran doesn't want to leave, even though they try multiple times to get it to leave. Um the Eminem guy returns and some other old wizard. Yeah, you could have made that guy. Yeah. The Harfoots and... Yeah, see some bandits over a cliff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Diva confronts the king about reinstating her husband. And then the king explains why he can't do that anymore. And explains... Uh... Yeah, Gladril and Elrond discuss how she, how she feels... Elrond betrayed her, which honestly, Elrond's in the right in this situation. You willingly forged the rings of elf rings, knowing Sauron had corrupted it. So honestly, Elrond was in the right in this situation. And Elrond has done nothing wrong thus this thus part, even though we're only three episodes in of this show. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Burn and elf. Yeah, they also have discussion. Yeah, the elf, they have a discussion. He probably says some wisdom. Oh, Har Harfoot and Gadolf are in the desert, and he uses his power so they can eat cockroaches because Harfoot eats disgusting things for some reason. Okay, whatever. The bandits come for Gadolf and the Harfoot, and Gadolf makes a dust storm. I mean, they're all in Captain Death's you know. Delbrimmer and, and Helbrin have a discussion about the rings, and then he suddenly disappears. And he comes out of the fire, claiming to be Anatar, the Lord of Gifts. Then the king sends Gladriel um, somewhere, and then feels a trade, finding out that Elrond is leading instead of her, because why would you trust the last row after everything she's done. I don't know. Yeah, that's... Yeah, leading them... Oh, Ron is going to be leading them on whatever mi mission they're doing. Probably deserve. Then consider you... Um, willingly, honestly, forged the rings knowing Sauron had control over it. So... Okay, episode three. Are you enjoying my suffering yet? Okay. Isildur's father, Lindy, or yeah, sends his horse because all the soldiers say no one can control that horse. No one isn't doesn't listen to anybody. So he sends it away. Um. Yeah, Isildur being tortured in Mordor, and. They arrive back in Numenor and find out that the king of Numenor had died, and now the queen regent Muriel becomes the queen. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah, and then we have the horrendously cringe scene of um, orc 
having a family and not wanting to go to war, which does not make sense in the in any if you know Middle Earth or Lord of the Rings at all, it doesn't make sense. Uh, orcs are pure and evil. They're represent, and all they want is to destroy and kill things. They don't care. They would not have a family. It doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. And then, Anasar and Celebr discuss rings of power, as they say again, with the dwarves, and what they probably just then discuss with the king of making rings of power. Uh, yeah, Scylla escapes Mordor and meets a girl, because of course he does. Um, and right away together, yeah, of course. And then they get, yeah, then, yeah, Don, yeah, they get attacked by bandits, Don Lemon, Elf helps them, and, and they arrive, and then brings them to their little town. Um, they have a funeral for the girl, because that, because she, she, somehow she died, even though it doesn't make sense. It's really their. It's honestly just their excuse to explain why the, the actress that played that town, the mother, died. I mean, no, no. Explains why she left the show. It's basically like, oh, she died. Yada yada yada. No one asked questions. Okay. Yeah, she just left. They're in. Yeah, and then has a conversation about the rings, which probably he convinces him to do the rings of power. Oh, Isildur and Theo have a conversation probably about how his mom died and like, Isildur like, oh, my mother died as well talking about his feelings. And then the girl and Isildur have a conversation about over the fire at night. So you know where they're going with that one. Okay. The regent Miro becomes the queen of Numenor, yeah. Then the, the high priest or the second guy started a coup and struck and tried to take over the throne, basically. Because you have to have that, of course, guys. Yeah, and and then they and then the end of the, the last episode of season episode three, Durin and the dwarves start built creating the dwarf rings. Rings of power. The dwarf, the nine, seven for the dwarf lord, the rings of power. Yeah, they they've done ring. They said rings of power multiple times in the show. So that is my review on episode one through three. Hope you are enjoying. Hope you enjoy my reviews on this show because I'm in immense pain. This this was terrible. I died. Okay, but tomorrow. Is the K drama live stream with Sophie that tomorrow at like nine or ten, 10 or nine o'clock tomorrow night? I will see you then. But until then, this is my review on episode one to three.